Joining me in the studio now is author, artist and business owner Emma Morrissey. Emma released her own book called Painting the Picture of Business before starting up her own arts company aged just 24. Emma now uses her experiences to help creative students across Hampshire with their future careers in business. And Emma, I do think sometimes people think of the arts and then of business as two kind of completely yes. separate entities. But what you have kind of talked about in your book and what you kind of do is sort of merge those two mm -hmm. things. Why did you feel that there was a need to kind of explore that? Well, I think coming from uh, my background, I, I started um, college when I was 15. I did um, performing arts and art and design and sort of worked my way up into uni. And I think um, for a lot of creative people, when they do creative courses, there's not always a guarantee of a of a job afterwards yeah um, as the creative industry is very difficult to get into so for me um, when I graduated from uni self-employment was something that I wanted to look more at and um, this is the the main reason I thought was quite important to, to actually put all my experience in in into my book because it's not something I think that's really thought of that much, particularly for creative people. Yeah, because it's not easy, is it? Kind of self-employment mm -hmm. and business. And you kind of, in your book, deal with a lot of those things. And yeah. so tell me about what, what's in it and what might people expect from it? Well, the main thing um, is it covers not just um, careers for artists, but whether you're a photographer, a dressmaker, um, or an actor, as I have a background in performing arts as well. Um, there's something in here for everyone really and there's um, sections on marketing, um, bookkeeping, um, how to uh, pitch yourself to people, networking of course which is uh, yeah. <laughs> crucial when you start a business. Um, but yeah I've, I've tried to uh, include all the different areas that you, you need to, to know about. I mean when before I started my business um, I spent over a year uh, doing market research and a business plan just just to give me all the tools that I, I would need um, to set up a business and it's 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 become successful so, so you say it's become successful <laughs> these is kind of some examples of your artistic yes, work what yes. is your business well I work um, mainly as a portrait artist um, I did my first portrait 14 years ago now Wow! Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I get asked to do a, a wide range of things from portraits of people's um, friends and family, their pets, their children. Um, the biggest piece I've done um, was a portrait of eight people. Um, but How big was that? Oh, that was, I think it was A2 or A1, so it's a um, bit bigger than this okay. in, in, in entire size. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's particularly good. And you've got here, you've custom. got kind of a lot of pictures mm. of kind of celebrities. And do, yeah. you, do you sell these as well? I do, yes. I, I do get a lot of um, commissions for portraits of, of celebrities. They do make good presents for people. And uh, okay. particularly when I have exhibitions, it, it's, it seems um, to go down quite well to have a, a lot of images that people can recognise. And so people can commission an art, a portrait from mm -hmm. you via your website or by getting in touch with you. Yeah. So tell me a bit about the process. Would it would need to be a live sitting or can you work from a photograph? How does it happen? I do work from both, um, particularly if I'm asked to do a portrait of someone's pet or their child, it's easier to work from a photo. Yep. Um, <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes, I, I do uh, do a lot of um, live drawing as well, but I do a lot of um, illustrative work as well. I've done some book covers for a, a local author, James Marsh. So I try to be quite diverse in, in, in the different things that I do. Okay. And if I was to commission one of these portraits, say, I mean, you've got a lovely one of Johnny Depp there, say if yeah. I, I wanted something similar, mm -hmm. how much might that kind of set me back if I, if I wanted something a bit like that? Um, depending on what size. I mean, all, all my portraits come with frame and mount included. Okay. But, um, this one being A3, you're looking sort of over £100. Okay. So yeah. for a kind of black and white portrait of yeah. myself with a frame and a mount. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's good. I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> and how long does it kind of take you to do a portrait? Well, again, depending on size and how many people I'm, I'm drawing in the piece, it can be anywhere from uh, 6 to 12 hours and it can go into weeks sometimes. Oh, really? I, I, I draw from eye. I don't, I don't trace. I don't um, do anything sort of um, on the computer. It's all done from eye. So, yeah, it, it, can, it can take quite a while. <laughs> and just really briefly, if you had like, a kind of really brief message for people who maybe just finishing their career in the arts and don't really know what to do, what would you say to them? I think um, 
the most important thing I would say is to network as much as you possibly can, get to know different businesses and to do as much market research as you can to try and determine where your target markets are and um, if people would be interested in your product. So, Thank you so much for coming in, Emma. Thank you. Good luck with your business. Thank you very much.